Hello students, welcome to the lecture on transportation and assignment problems and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Recognize variants of the transportation problem. Give details of complete enumeration method. Give details of transportation method. Explain transportation simplex method. Give details of Hungarian assignment method. Give details of unbalanced transportation method. Let us start with the introduction of transportation and assignment problems. The assignment problem can be stated as a problem where different jobs are to be assigned to different machines on the basis of the cost of doing these jobs. The objective is to minimize the total cost of doing all the jobs on different machines. The peculiarity of the assignment problem is only one job can be assigned to one machine. That is, it should be a one-to-one -one assignment. The cost data is given as a matrix where rows correspond to jobs and columns to machines and there are as many rows as the number of columns. That is, the number of jobs and number of machines should be equal. This can be compared to demand equals supply condition in a balanced transportation problem. In the optimal solution, there should be only one assignment in each row and columns of the given assignment table. One can observe various situations where assignment problem can exist. Example, assignment of workers to jobs like assigning clerks to different counters in a bank or salesmen to different areas for sales, different contracts to bidders. Assignment becomes a problem because each job requires different skills and the capacity or efficiency of each person with respect to these jobs can be different. This gives rise to cost differences. If each person is able to do all jobs equally efficiently, then all costs will be the same and each job can be assigned to any person. When assignment is a problem, it becomes a typical optimization problem. It can therefore be compared to a transportation problem. The cost elements are given and are a square matrix and requirement at each destination is 1 and availability at each origin is also 1. Variant of the transportation problem. The transportation problem is a special class of the linear programming problem. It deals with the situation in which a commodity is transported from sources to destinations. The objective is to determine the amount of commodity to be transported from each source to each destination so that the total transportation cost is minimum. Let us look at this video to explain the variance of transportation problems. Moving towards optimality. The steps are following. Determine the net evaluations, UV method. Since the net evaluation is zero for all basic cells, it follows that Zij minus Cij is equal to Ui plus Vj minus Cij for all basic cells Ij. So we can make use of this relation to find the value of Ui and Vj. Using the relation Ui plus Vj is equal to Cij for all i and j, which Ij is a basic cell, we can obtain the values of Uis and Vjs. After getting the values of Uis and Vjs, we can compute the net evaluation for each non-basic cell and display them in parentheses in the respective cells. Selection of the electing variables. Choose the variable XRS to enter the basis for which the net evaluation ZRS minus CRS is equal to max ZIJ minus CIJ is greater than 0. After identifying the entering variable XRS, form a loop which starts at the non-basic cell RS connecting only basic cells. 
Such a closed path exists and is unique for any non-degenerate solution. Allocate a quantity theta alternately to the cells of the loop starting plus theta to the entering cell. The value of theta is the minimum value of allocations on the cells having minus theta. Now compute the net evaluation for new transportation table and continue the above process till all the net evaluations are positive for non-basic cells. Decency in transportation problem. Transportation with m origins and n destinations can have m plus n minus 1 positive basic variables. Otherwise, the basic solution degenerates. So whenever the number of basic cells is less than m plus n minus 1, the transportation problem is degenerate. To resolve the degeneracy, the positive variables are augmented by as many zero-valued variables as is necessary to complete m plus n minus 1 basic variable. Unbalanced transportation problem. Summation of a i from i is equal to 1 to m is not equal to summation of b j from j is equal to 1 to n. The transportation problem is known as an unbalanced transportation problem. There are two cases. Summation of a i from i is equal to 1 to m is greater than summation of b j from j is equal to 1 to n. Case 1. Introduce a dummy destination in the transportation table. The cost of transporting to this destination is all set equal to 0. The requirement at this destination is assumed to be equal to summation of a i from i is equal to i to m minus summation of b j from j is equal to 1 to n. Case 2. Summation of a i from i minus 1 to m minus summation of b j from j is equal to 1 to n. Introduce a dummy origin in the transportation table. The costs associated with are set equal to 0. The availability is Z is equal to summation of C i x j from j is equal to i to n and i is equal to i to n. Complete enumeration method. The most naive approach to solve QAP is evaluating the cost function. Summation of Fij dangle I angle J plus summation of Ci angle I for each permutation. The number of all permutations of order N is N and therefore grows rapidly. So this greedy method is useful only for small instances. This table shows time needed to solve to optimality test instances for different values of n with complete enumerations. The second column in the table shows that the time needed to solve QAP really increases very fast. Time to solve the problem with dimension n is at least n times larger than the time to solve problems with dimension n minus 1. Transportation method. To understand transportation method, let us look at this video. A given set of destination points. The supply in supply point I is A I and the requirement in demand point or destination point J is B J and the problem is one of finding a least cost transportation from the supply points to the demand points where C A J is the unit cost of transportation. The problem is formulated as X I J is quantity transported from supply point i to destination point j. The objective function is to minimize 
the total cost of transportation C i j x i j subject to supply constraints. So, for every supply point total quantity that leaves the point should be less than or equal to what is available. So, A i is the quantity available in supply point i and as far as every demand point or destination point is concerned is greater than or equal to B j for every j x i j is greater than or equal to 0. Now, this is a linear programming problem, but we will not be solving this directly using the simplex algorithm. We will see that this problem has some more structure which we will try to exploit and use an algorithm which is a slightly different version of the simplex algorithm. Now, sigma a i represents the total availability and sigma b j represents the total requirement. So, if sigma a i is greater than or equal to sigma b j which means the total availability which is the sum of all these is more than what is required then it is possible to transport the entire requirement such that the demand of every destination point is met. If sigma a a i is strictly less than sigma b j which means that the total availability is less than the total requirement then obviously all the requirement cannot be met. So, we right now assume that sigma a i is greater than or equal to sigma b j so that the requirement of all these points are met. The next thing would be assuming that the total supply is more than the total demand we will be sending quantities from each of the supply point to one or more of the destination points so that we meet the demand as well as minimize this transportation cost. It is very reasonable to assume that the transportation cost C i j is greater than or equal to 0 for all i j. Transportation cost cannot be negative. So, when the transportation cost is non negative then we will only end up sending exactly the amount that is required and none, none of these destination points will receive even one unit more than what it requires because that extra unit has to be transported from one of these supply points and that can only increase the cost of transportation. For example, if this requires B 1 we will send exactly B 1 we will not send B 1 plus 1 that extra unit would increase the total cost of transportation if it is strictly greater than 0 or if it is 0 it would still retain. So, in some sense the optimal solution will send exactly the quantity that is needed in each of these destination points. So, we would solve this problem where the, the greater than equal to inequality has now been converted into an equation. Now, if we consider a very special case where sigma a i is equal to sigma b j then what will happen is we will not only meet the require exact requirement of every destination point, but we would also be utilizing all that is available as far as each of the supply points is concerned, which means this inequality also becomes an equation. So, now the transportation problem under the assumption that sigma a i is equal to sigma b j, which means total supply equals total requirement reduces to the same problem except that the inequalities are all now equations. Now, this transportation problem which has all equations is called a balanced transportation problem. A balanced problem has equations and the original problem the unbalanced problem which is the original problem has inequalities. So, now we have defined two types of transportation problems one is called the unbalanced problem which has inequalities less than or equal to here and a greater than or equal to here and a balanced problem which has equations which will satisfy the condition sigma a i equal to sigma b j. The transportation problem is a special type of LP problem. Of course, we can use the simplex method to solve this problem. 
objective. MINZ is equal to summation of CIZ, XIZ from 1 is equal to 1 to M and J is equal to 1 to N implies max minus Z is equal to minus summation of CIJ, XIJ from I is equal to 1 to M and J is equal to 1 to N. Row 0 minus Z is equal to minus summation of Cij, Xij from I is equal to I to M and J is equal to 1 to N. After any interaction, the coefficient of Xij in row 0 is Cij minus Ui minus Vj. Ui means multiple of origin row i that has been subtracted from original row 0. Vj means multiple of original row m plus j that has been subtracted from original row 0. An efficient form of simplex is available by taking advantage of this special structure. No need to use big M method to obtain the initial BF solution. Row 0 can be obtained simply by calculating the current values of ui and vj. The leaving basic variable can be identified in a simple way without using the coefficients of the entering basic variable. This table shows the transportation problem. Hungarian assignment method HAM Assumption There are n jobs and n machines. Step 0. If necessary, convert the problem from a maximum assignment into a minimum assignment. We do this by letting C is equal to maximum value in the assignment matrix. Replace each Cij with C minus Cij. Step 1. From each row, subtract off the row minus. Step 2. From each column, subtract off the row column minus. Step 3. Use as few lines as possible to cover all the zeros in the matrix. There is no easy rule to do this. Basically trial and error. Suppose you use k lines. If k is less than n, let m be the minimum uncovered number. Subtract m from every uncovered number. Add m to every number covered with two lines. Go back to the start of step 3. If k is equal to n, go to step 4. Step 4. Starting with the top row, work your way downwards as you make assignments. An assignment can be uniquely made when there is exactly one zero in a row. Once an assignment is made, delete that row and column from the matrix. If you cannot make all n assignments and all the remaining rows contain more than one zero, switch to columns. Starting with the left column, work your way rightwards as you make assignments. Iterate between row assignments and column assignments until you have made as many unique assignments as possible. If still not made an assignments, you cannot make a unique assignment either with rows or columns. Make one arbitrarily by selecting a cell with a zero in it. Then try to make unique row and or column assignments. For a clear understanding, let us watch this video, which explains it with example. Unbalanced transportation problem. So far we have assumed that the total supply at the origins is equal to the total requirement at the destinations. Specifically, summation of total supply at origin SI from I is equal to I to M is equal to summation of total requirement at destination DJ from J is equal to 1 to N. But in certain situations, the total supply is not equal to the total demand. Thus, the transportation problem with unequal supply and demand is said to be unbalanced transportation problem. How we can solve the unbalanced transportation problem? If the total supply is more than the total demand, we introduce an additional column 
which will indicate the surplus supply with transportation cost zero. Similarly, if the total demand is more than the total supply, an additional row is introduced in the table which represents unsatisfied demand with transportation cost zero. The balancing of an unbalanced transportation problem is illustrated in the following example. Summary Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learnt in this lecture. The assignment problem is a problem where different jobs are to be assigned to different machines on the basis of the cost of doing these jobs. Transportation problem deals with the situation in which a commodity is transported from sources to destinations. The cost data is given as a matrix where rows correspond to jobs and columns to machines. Assignment becomes a problem because each job requires different skills and the capacity or efficiency of each person with respect to these jobs can be different. A feasible solution to a transportation problem is basic if and only if the corresponding cells in the transportation table do not contain a loop.